Let's get right to it. The newest edition of Florida Weekly is out today. We are going to give you the inside scoop on the cover stories. That's right, Eric Raditz joining us now with a preview. And Eric, we love our music here in Southwest Florida. No doubt about that. Talk about feeling Florida's grooves. Well, if you ever thought maybe that would be great to have an underground, independent, alternative music scene here in Southwest Florida and all of Florida, well, we're here to tell you that, yes, there is one. And while someone not cool like myself might not have found it, we sent Evan Williams, our reporter, out who rolled up his sleeves, hit, hit up to the bar, and uncovered a whole lot of alternative rock and roll original stuff coming right here out of Florida and out of Southwest Florida. Uh, we let you know of a few upcoming events we point you to, including a 239 Fest right here in town and a bunch of spots online to find our very own indie music scene coming out of Florida. It's pretty awesome. If you're a lot of talent here, a lot of talent. Business section, a lot of people get involved in Rotary Clubs. Great way to network, get involved in the community. Yeah, and we get a little bit into the history of the Rotary Club. Originally started uh, about over 100 years ago by a Chicago attorney. Uh, now we have people who are business professionals all over the state who have benefited, many in the community, thanks to this little group called Rotary. Uh, well, who exactly are they? Uh, what is their mission? Why does it seem as if they've done so much good uh, here in Southwest Florida? We let you know in our business section. All right, very good too. And I love this. I have not been able to attend, but I, I like to read about it and wish that I could be there. Songwriting, it's the Songwriting Island Hopper Songwriter Fest, and I just think that is amazing. Third year for that. Third year, and we get into all the details regarding the, uh, this Island Hopper Fest. Uh, we have uh, over 21 locations, 76 musicians from September 23rd to October 2nd. Uh, we have an infusion of music of another kind, and that's uh, music from songwriters. So you might have heard their songs as they pen popular songs, but we get to see all these musicians taking place on Captiva, Fort Myers Beach, downtown Fort Myers, and we do all the little research into who's actually coming here, and it's in this week's Florida that's Weekly. Great. So speaking of writers, one of my favorite comedic writers of all time is coming to Lee County. Yes, Jerry Seinfeld. And tickets go on sale this weekend, so in our top things to do, you have to make your way down to get tickets to see him. He's not going to be here this weekend, but tickets go on sale this weekend. In addition to a bunch of other fun stuff, including Speak Like a Pirate Day, Shop With Your Dog, and World Peace Day, and a bunch of other stuff in case you're bored on the couch and looking for things to do, <laughs> pick up Florida Weekly free on stands online and on your device. Can never say you're bored. No. In Southwest Florida, the end so of much boredom. to do. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm never bored, but I think occasionally we have those that say, "What what is there to do in town? Pick us up and we'll let you know." We'll okay. work on that. Speak like a pirate day. Arr. Eric Raditz, everybody. Thank we'll see you. you next week. It's a pleasure. Thank you.